Hi, everybody. My name is Sandy Asher, and I write books for young readers. This is my dog, Gracie. She's a reading dog. That means she goes to schools and the library and listens while children read books to her. But today, I'm going to read a book to you, and Gracie will listen with us. This is called Princess Bee and the Royal Goodnight Story, and you can see that I wrote it. It says Sandy Asher, but I did not draw the pictures. They were drawn by Cat Bowman Smith. Princess Bee and the Royal Goodnight Story. Princess Beatrice, better known as Bee, lives in a palace. She does not live there alone. Also in the palace are her mum, the queen, her dad, the king, the royal big sister, the royal big brother, and quite a few royal others. Being a princess is not easy. Before B can go to bed at night, she must wait for the royal turner down to turn down the covers on her bed and to leave a rose for sweet dreams beside her pillow. But before she gets to B, the royal turner down must first turn down the beds of the king and queen the royal big sister, the royal big brother. By the time she gets to be, there are often no roses left. Never mind. Mum always brings an extra when she comes to tell B the royal goodnight story. One day, Princess Bee's mum called for the royal folder, the royal packer, and the royal suitcase snapper. Please pack my things, she said. Where are you going? asked Bee. To goodness knows where, said mum to visit my favorite aunt. How long will you be gone? asked B. Three days, said Mum. Nights too? asked B. Three days and three nights, and then I will come home. When her suitcases were ready, Mum gave out goodbye kisses. One for the king, one for the royal big brother, one for the royal big sister, and one for B. And then she gave them each another. Mum never ran out of kisses, but it was time to go, so she did. I have never spent three whole days and three whole nights <clears throat> without mum before, said B. And I don't think she has ever spent three days and nights without me. Never mind, said the royal big sister. Tonight, I will tell you a good night story. That's Mum's job, said B. Oh, anyone can do it, said her sister. I don't think so, said B. That night, the royal big sister perched on the windowsill in B's bedroom. Once upon a time, she said, there was a royal big sister who threw a ball so hard and so fast, it landed on the moon. After that, 
she became the first royal big sister to pitch the winning game in the World Series. The end. That story was too short, said B. I'm still awake. There is no more, said the royal big sister. After the World Series, baseball season is over. Good night. It was not a good night for B. Mom never runs out of story before I fall asleep, she thought. And she tossed and turned as long as the stars twinkled. The next morning, Bee's eyelids drooped as she sat before the royal oatmeal. Bee, cried the royal big brother, you look miserable. What's wrong? I couldn't fall asleep last night, said Bee. Never mind, said her brother. Tonight, I will tell you a good night story. That is mom's job, said B. Oh, anyone can do it, said her brother. I don't think so, said B. We have an extra guest here listening to the story. Can you see him? That's our cat, Friday. Friday, can you look this way? No, nope. he just wants to look the other way. And if you look right down here, Gracie has almost fallen asleep listening to our story. That night, the royal big brother sat on the edge of Bee's bed. Once upon a time, he said, there was a royal big brother who tamed a fire-breathing dragon and made his, it his pet. And then he took it to school for show and tell. The end. That story is too short, said B. I'm still awake. There is no more, said her brother. You can only take a pet to show and tell at school once. Good night. It was not a good night for B. Mom never ever runs out of story before I fall asleep, she thought. And she sighed and grumbled almost as long as the crickets sang. The next morning, Bee's shoulders sagged as she sat before the royal waffle. Bee, cried her dad, you look miserable. What's wrong? I couldn't fall asleep last night, said Bee. Never mind, said dad. Tonight, I will tell you a good night story. That is mom's job, said the king, said B. That's true, said dad, gathering B up in his lap. And mom's not here, said B, with a sniffle. She's not here eating a royal waffle, said dad, but she's here in other ways. She is? asked B. She is. He gave B a big royal hug. Think about it, he said. B thought about it all day. That night, she lay awake in her room alone. 
I cannot fall asleep without listening to mum's stories, she thought. But maybe if I listen very, very hard, I will hear one. B lay perfectly still in the dark. and listened as hard as she could. Once upon a time, she heard, there was a princess named Bee and a queen named Mum. Mum went away to goodness knows where and Bee missed her very much. And Mum missed Bee very much too. For three whole days and Three whole nights, they missed each other. But Mum said she would come home, and she did. She brought lots and lots of new stories with her. And everyone lived happily ever after because Mum never, ever, 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 ever ran out of and B fell asleep dreaming of stories and kisses. The end. Thank you for listening and thank you Friday. You were a good listener too. And thank you Gracie who almost fell asleep. Bye-bye.